No, uh, and Apple has a new update for iPhones today. MGM is letting potential staff try out the job in virtual reality before signing on the dotted line. And there's a new console out there for gamers that can fit into your pocket. Joining us live to help break all this down, our tech expert, Greg Nibbler. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Yes, yeah, some uh, exciting things there for Apple iPhone users. So the latest update to iOS 15 is rolled out. So if you have an iPhone, you can update it now. And uh, it's for iOS 15.2. So a couple of things that it expands upon that were already out there and also some new activations that it's got. It expands upon something called app privacy. So previously, you could take a look at what some of your apps were doing as far as interacting with different websites. And now it expands upon that. There's a different report you can get called the app privacy report on your phone that will let you know even what sensors different apps are interacting with on your phone. So sometimes, you know, you're wondering like, is this app actually tracking me? Well, you can take a look and get a report to show what it's doing. Is it interacting with other apps, different domains? You'll get this privacy report and then you can either turn certain functions off or even delete the app altogether if that's something you want to do. It's also a little bit unnerving sometimes to see how much it's tracking, but this is something that you can now find out pretty easily thanks to this app privacy report. So you've got that. There's another feature that I think is really cool, and this is for iCloud Plus users. It's called Hide My Email. And what it does is say you go to a website, you know, and they want you to put in your email address. You don't want to put it in your real one because you don't want to give them that. Well, this will generate a unique one just for you and that site. And then you can interact with it as much as you want. But say you get tired of it or you start noticing spam going to that unique ID, you just turn it off. And then there it is. It doesn't exist anymore. So that's a pretty cool little function there with that. Uh, you've also got some updates for digital legacy. And this is something it's a little weird to think about, but I mean, we all have our phone, our photos and our documents are all online now. So this is a way to kind of give access to that to someone else, say, if you're, you untimely pass away. So this is called digital or, or legacy contact. You can set up up to five people. They'll get a unique access code and should something happen, they can go to Apple, provide that code and provide some different documentation and get access to those photos and documents if you want to have allowed them to do that. So just a few different updates on there, but I think so, some unique things, there's a lot of other ones too, but anybody who wants to update that, you can go ahead and do that now. Oh, that's really interesting. I'm glad that they're acknowledging that, you know, technology has become such a big part of our lives that, yeah, there, there are some things like that, that, you know, you need to have those conversations with people. If you're not gonna give somebody your passwords, you know, yeah. to hang on to, how, how do you navigate that? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, think about it, how, like, how many of us have photo albums anymore, you know, mm -hmm. like physical ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, well, good stuff, Apple. I have to keep an eye on that for my next update. Uh, okay, let's talk virtual reality. I feel like there's a new VR story every week these days. So what's the latest? Really is. This one comes from MGM Grand, so the casino, and this is something they're doing kind of a, a, in a long line of companies that are starting to use VR for not only employee training, but also for applications. So what they're going to be doing is using this system, it's called Striver, and Striver has been in the space for a while. They used to do like health and safety standards, but VR simulations of that. But that, what MGM is going to do is simulate what it's like working in a casino. So that means both the good applications for that and some of the bad. They said that there are certain things that being a casino worker, you end up interacting with maybe some troubled uh, customers or people that don't want to follow mask mandates or different things like that. And this is a way for their employees to kind of experience that, get used to it in a, in a situation that seems real so they understand what to do in those situations. And it also is going to be for people applying for the jobs. So there's a big issue with employee attrition right now and not either staying on or just having trouble hiring people. And they think that this will give them a better idea. They're going to take this out to like job fairs in different places that people can try it on and be like, okay, I'm working in a casino right now. Here's what this would actually be like to get a feel for it before you actually apply for the job. And there's a bunch of companies doing this. Uh, Walmart's big into this right now with VR. And I think you're going to start seeing this. This is just the beginning. There's a lot more companies that are going to start using VR to, to help uh, uh, employees or potential employees apply for different jobs. So huh. I think this is just the start of a huge space. That's oh, really wow. interesting. Yeah, it really is. Uh, yeah. Briefly, uh, we have been hearing about this analog pocket gaming console. So uh, tell us about that, Greg. 
yeah, the latest in retro gaming, this is for handheld gaming in particular. So if you think about Game Boy, this Game Boy in particular is a really big one for this. Mm -hmm. But what's unique about this is that it actually plays the original cartridges. So if somebody has, you know, an old shoebox full of cartridges for not, just, not only just Game Boy, but Sega handheld consoles, also Atari, pretty much any handheld console, it wow. seems like about ever. Yeah, you can play it with this, and it's starting to ship out now for people who pre-ordered, but if you want to get one, they're opening up orders again, actually this morning, December 14th, at 8 a.m. Pacific. The orders open back up, and they say if you order it, if you're one of the first people, you could probably get it in the first quarter of next year, but it's a it's pretty cool for people who are fans of this. It even recreates what the old screens were like, which means you know they weren't very good, but you can recreate and simulate exactly what that original Game Boy was like or or any of the other systems. <laughs> wow, interesting. I have a feeling there's gonna be some gamers saying, okay, I know I can't get it by December 25th, but uh, this is on my Christmas list. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> very cool. Thanks so much for joining us, Greg. We'll see you next week. Sounds great. And for more tech news on the latest gadgets, video games, and more, be sure to follow Greg on Twitter. He's at Greg Nibbler.